What's up Android boys and girls? This is Shinobi123. I'm going to show you how you can use your Wiimote, your Nintendo Wiimote to play uh, emulators on your Android phone. Um, of course you need to have um, an emulator from the market you can download from a developer called Yong ZH. She has different emulators for like old Sega and Nintendo systems. Uh, but the first thing you'll want to do is to hit menu and go to settings because you need to turn on your Bluetooth. So go to wireless controls and uh, select Bluetooth. And you'll see a little Bluetooth icon up here at the top right by the time once that's turned on. So now it's turned on, so now you can go back. And the next thing you need to do is you need to download an app from the market. I've already downloaded it, it's called Wiimote Controller. So download that. There's other ones. There's one you have to pay for, but this one pretty much does the same thing from what I, I can see. I don't see the reason for paying for it. Um, for, for paying for the one, for buying the one that you need to pay for when this one does the same thing. There's one called Wii, Wii Controller Demo, and that just that's free, but that just kind of shows you how you can how your phone can recognize your uh, Wiimote controller. So open up Wiimote Controller, the app, and the first thing you want to do is hit number one. And then you need to hold down buttons one and two, so it'll search for it and recognize the controller. And once it does, see it'll say connecting, and then you can push up and down, left and right, and the different buttons, and it'll show you on the screen that it's recognizing it. So make sure before you go out of that, just hit number, hit on the second, the second button on the top, select Wii Controller I M E. Right now it has Android keyboard selected, so just make sure that um, the other Wii Remote Controller I M E is selected. So now you can hit back, and of course you'll want to download one of the Yong's. Just search Yong Z H. It's Y O N G Z H, I believe, and he has all sorts of emulators. Uh, this is the Nintendo one, Nessoid. So let's go to first. Make sure you need to once you have the the app open, go to settings because you need to make sure you map the keys to the controller. So just go down to the very bottom when you go into the settings and make sure that you have. Uh, use input method selected. That's going to make sure that you can use your Wii Remote controller. Then you as well go to key mappings and make sure you know you just push hit the hit this for up and then hit the up button on your controller and go through all of them so you can map everything. I've already done that so um, it should work for me. Let's see here. Let's go to Super Mario Brothers. This is a save game I've. I was playing earlier. But yeah, it works really well. It's awesome. I mean, I have a G1 and I have a keyboard on there, so it's... I have decent control already, but um, of course, if you have like the Nexus 1 or other Android phones that don't have a keyboard, this uh, works wonders. It's awesome. But even even for games using the Android or the G1 keyboard, some of it, sometimes it's hard to play. So it's still awesome even though I have a G1. Okay. Anyway, let's try another game. Let's close this. Let's go to uh, Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance emulator. Let's try it again. Show you. Uh, same thing, you've got to map these because, of course, I mean, there's four buttons. Um, for the Game Boy Advance, there's only two for Nintendo, so just make sure they're mapped correctly. I switched everything around for Mario Kart, so two is the gas, one shoots your weapon, the back or like a, the trigger button um, slides, and the A button here is uh, your brake. I don't have the sound on because it's on some games it slows down with the sound.
I'll show you one more game. I'll show you Street Fighter because it really helps um, with the crosshairs. It's easier to play. And uh, from what I understand, I'm pretty sure that you can use uh, the different controllers like the nunchucks and uh, I think in the classic controller which has whoops, I don't know what happened there, which has more buttons. This trigger acts as the back button sometimes if you don't map it correctly so I think I'm hitting that accidentally. Uh, and I think it, this can even um, I think you can even recognize more than one controller so let me know if someone is able to play like multiple like two player games using two different controllers that would be really cool to know. Set this also. Let me make sure to change the. Oops. The key mappings. Okay, this is good. And then just let's see here. Back. Okay. Let's get out of all of this. But it makes it a lot easier, you know, to do the special moves and actually just just move around all together. So it's really cool to be able to play with, play this way. Alright, that's that. I just wanted to show you. So, um, yeah. Also, you know, one thing, just make sure when you um, close out of it, if you have any problems, you might have problems with uh, trying to use the actual, like, on screen keyboard. So, just make sure once you close, once you're done with uh, using the, the emulators, go to settings again and go to local, locale and text. And then just make sure, see it has Wiimote controller selected and Android keyboard. I say just make sure to unselect that so there's no problems. So now if you're trying to use the on-screen keyboard, it should work fine. So uh, yeah, don't forget to um, rate. If you have any comments, feel free to post them and subscribe. All right, thanks a lot. See ya.